welcome to another episode of The Reading Corner with me, Mr. M. Last week, I read you one of my own original stories, Chloe the Koala, and this week, I thought we'd do something similar. So, here's another one of my own original children's stories called The Wolf Who Went to the Moon. Once there was a young wolf who had a big dream. He wanted to go to space. Every night, he would look up to the moon and howl to his heart's content. All his brothers and sisters howled too, and all of his aunties and uncles, grandpas and grandmas, and his mum and dad too. He had a big pack. In fact, all the wolves he knew all howled at the moon, but none of them howled for the same reason as the young wolf. They howled because it was in their nature to howl. The young wolf howled because he longed for the moon. He wanted so badly to travel there and see it firsthand. One day, he told his dad about his dream. Papa, I want to travel to the moon. I'm going to work really hard and get there one day, the young wolf said excitedly. His dad looked up at the moon, then down to his boy. Son, I'm sorry, but you can't go to the moon. We wolves don't possess the intelligence or the opposable thumbs to make spaceships or any of the other pieces of complicated equipment needed to get to the moon. It's just not possible, his dad replied, hoping not to upset his boy too much with the truth. But this didn't stop the young wolf. Instead, it made him even more determined than ever. I'm going to be the world's first wolf in space. I'll work so hard and do whatever it takes, and one day, I'll be on the moon, looking down and howling at Earth, he stated confidently. As he grew, the young wolf never stopped working towards his goal. He would find discarded books and magazines about space, and learn as much as he could to prepare for his journey. Astronaut, he read. That's what I'm going to be, an astronaut, the young wolf cheered with excitement. The other wolves weren't always as supportive of his goal, calling him names and making fun of a wolf who thought he could do something as ambitious as going to space. Floaty space fluffball, they called him. They weren't very creative. Even with their mean-spirited name-calling, the young wolf continued to research and learn as much as he could, knowing that he could achieve his dream if he worked hard enough. A few years later, while howling at the moon one night, the young wolf noticed something in the night sky. It was a rocket. It had been launched from a nearby space center, where they were preparing for a new spaceship to be sent to the moon. The young wolf rushed over to ask if he could join the team that were going into space. When he arrived, he saw a group of scientists taking notes about the launch. He ran up to them and expressed just how excited he was about going to the moon. Hello! I have been working so hard, and I think I would be a really good astronaut. Please give me a chance to go to space. I won't let you down, the young wolf exclaimed, which translated roughly to... <laughs> the scientists all watched, eyes wide as the wolf barked madly at them, before they all ran as fast as they could into the space center. The young wolf was devastated. He'd worked so hard for so many years, and they didn't want him. They were afraid of him just because he was a wolf. He knew at that moment that he would never be an astronaut. He would never make it to the moon. Defeated, he slumped back to his pack 's cave with his tail between his legs. On his way to his room, he bumped into his dad. Papa, I tried so hard. But you were right. They don't want me. And they never will. I never should have tried to go to the moon, he cried, full of sorrow. Son, the most important thing is that you followed your dream. Even if you couldn't follow it until the end, you always tried your hardest and did everything you could to make your dream come true. You should be proud of yourself for that. I'm proud of you, his dad replied consoling his hurt boy. The next morning, the young wolf unenthusiastically picked himself up and walked over to the cave entrance, unsure of what he would do from now on. His dad was there waiting for him, with an excited look on his face. Papa, what's going on? The young wolf asked. While you were asleep, 
Some scientists came by. They were looking for you and said that they only ran away from you to get their wolf translator so that they could understand you. They're not afraid of you. They want to help you. They want you to be the world's first wolf astronaut. The young wolf thanked his dad. I'll never forget everything you've done for me. And when I'm up on the moon, I'll howl every night, so loud that you'll all hear me and know that I made it. The young wolf met with the scientists, and they spoke for hours about his dream of going to the moon. We would love to make you an astronaut and take you to the moon, they said happily. The young wolf replied, <laughs> which roughly translated to, thank you. The scientists teamed the wolf up with a young astronaut in training, and after a few months of preparing, they were ready to make their journey. Three, two, one, we have liftoff. The scientists confirmed as the spaceship engines roared into life and the young wolf roared with excitement. Once the spaceship had landed, the young wolf took his first steps out onto the moon's surface, bouncing around as he made his dream come true. He sat and stared at her with his new friend, and together they howled. And that is the story of the wolf who went to the moon. I really hope you enjoyed that story, as I know a few of you enjoyed the story last week. Um, so do let me know what you think, uh, and I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.